In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to fix your normal maps when you use a custom rotator. Let me show you what I mean. Inside my material, I have just two textures being connected into base color and then a normal map into normal map input. And then I have the standard way to rotate your texture by using a custom rotator, a texture coordinate plugged into UV slot, and then a scalar parameter that I can change inside the material instance that rotates my texture. And then this material instance is applied to this simple mesh. So right now it looks like how it's supposed to. But then if I begin to apply a rotation to this mesh and rotate the texture, let me go ahead and enlarge this, make it bigger. And I have a rotate parameter right here. I'm going to go ahead and enable it and I'm going to set it to 0.5. So it's rotated 180 degrees upside down. And you can see as soon as I do that, the normal map looks inverted. And it doesn't matter how I rotate. If I do 0.75, 270 degrees or any other value, the normal map will look odd and inverted and it does not respect the light, the light, uh, the sun is shining on this mesh right here. So the normal map should respect the light and shade accordingly, but it does not. So let me go ahead and show you how to fix this inside the material editor. So here's what you need. I'm going to set this up right here and I already have a copy of this, but I'm going to build it from scratch. Let me show you what it is first. It's, this is what it's going to look like. But let's create this one by one and connect everything together so you know how it's created and what to do with it. So the first thing you need is a constant three vector. Hold down three on the keyboard and left click to insert it. And you need to set the Z value, which is your blue channel, to one. Then insert a multiply node, hold down M and left click and set the B value to negative one. And then we need a constant one vector. Hold down one on the keyboard and left click and keep this value at zero. And now we need another node that we can connect all of these up into called rotate about axes. So right click to bring up a search menu and type in rotate about axes. And this is the one we need right here. So this is what's going to control the correct orientation of the normal by utilizing the Z channel or the blue channel using the constant three vector. So let's go ahead, and connect these up. So take the constant three vector and this is going to go into normalize rotation axes. Take the multiply and connect it into rotation angle. And the pivot point is going to be set to zero and connected to the pivot point input. Then we need to take the position of the normal map right here, take the RGB and run it down into position. And then we need a multiply A input. And this is the rotation scalar parameter. This is the value that gets rotated that we use inside the material instance. So we need to take the output of this and connect it into multiply A. While we're still running this into the rotation center of the custom rotator. And now we need to add the rotation about axes together with the normal map and connect it back into the normal map input. So hold down A, left click to add an add. Then take the output of rotate about axes, connect it into B. The normal map goes into A. We're now adding the normal map and then the fix together. And then the output goes into normal input of the material. And that's it. That's what you need to do. Let's go ahead and hit apply and take a look. And you can see right away it fixed. So let me bring back the material instance. Let me make the screen larger and then press an F11 to make it bigger. So here, if I go back to the default, it's going to look how it's supposed to. This is what it should look like. But now if I just begin to use the rotate to 0.5, so it's upside down, you can see it's not fixed 0.75. The normal map now respects the light and it's shading correctly. So that's all you need to do. Then just select all the nodes, hit C to comment them out and name it fix normal map rotation. And here's the complete setup.